In this example, based on the A320, we dispatch with SFCC2 and up. There is no MEL penalty factor for this failure. When airborne, we suffer a loss of the blue hydraulic system, and because of the SFCC2 already being an operative, we are now faced with the additional failure of flight control slats fault. Let's use the flowchart to determine the multiple failure landing distance. Airfield and aircraft conditions are as follows. The runway is dry, we are 1000 feet above sea level, with zero wind, temperature is ISA. There is no slope, we are 62 tons in weight, and we are without reverse thrust. We determine VAP using the highest delta ref of all failures, in this case 25 knots. We then separately determine the failure with the longest ref distance. We then calculate the landing distance for that failure, taking into account all corrections. In our case, 1500 meters for the longest failure, slats and flaps, which is then corrected to 1470 meters. Next we can then calculate the delta landing distance. This is done by taking the distance for the other failure, blue system low pressure, at the planned flap setting, in our case for COMF3, this is 1,230 meters, and we then subtract the ref distance without failure, 1,090 meters, from the bottom of the chart, giving us 140 meters of a difference. Add this figure to the previously calculated figure of 1,470 meters, and as there is no MEL penalty, we can multiply it by the safety margin of 1.15 to give us a corrected operational landing distance, or OLD, of 1,852 meters.